Understanding the phrase, defend the border. Hello, language enthusiasts. Today, we're diving into a commonly heard phrase in news, politics, and discussions, defend the border. This phrase can carry different meanings depending on the context, and it's crucial for English language learners to understand its nuances. Let's unpack this phrase together. Defend the border literally refers to protecting the boundaries of a country or an area from unauthorized entry or potential threats. Here, defend means to protect or guard, and border refers to the geographical boundary separating two regions or countries. It's a phrase often used in discussions about national security and immigration policies. In political and news contexts, defend the border can be loaded with different meanings. Politicians might use this phrase to advocate for stricter immigration policies or to emphasize the importance of national security. It's important to note the context in which the phrase is used, as it might indicate a stance on a broader political issue. The phrase, defend the border, doesn't just carry a literal meaning, it can also reflect cultural and social attitudes towards immigration and foreign relations. Sometimes, it's used to invoke a sense of patriotism or to address concerns about the economy, jobs, or public safety. Understanding these subtleties is crucial in grasping the full scope of discussions where this phrase is used. For English learners, it's important to understand that phrases like defend the border can have connotations beyond their dictionary definitions. Paying attention to the context and the speaker's tone can provide valuable clues about the underlying meaning. Also, be aware that such phrases can evoke strong emotions and opinions, making them sensitive topics in conversations. Today, We've explored the phrase, defend the border, shedding light on its literal meaning, political usage, and cultural implications. Understanding such phrases in context enhances your comprehension and enables you to engage in more nuanced conversations. We hope this discussion has been enlightening, and we look forward to bringing more insights into the English language in our future videos.